which are very, very difficult. Uh, and then in practical terms, because we were working with BIFA supervisors to develop the new strength street cleansing regimes to adapt to that moving power budget saving, you know, there was only a certain amount of supervision there. It's fair to say that in terms of some of the different management supervisors, they were working on other things as well. So that's the explanation there behind the, uh, behind the exception of the court. Um, just in terms of going forward, we obviously made the change to the BIFA contract that came in as at the 1st of July. Really pleased to confirm that we managed to achieve the reduction in the workforce on a voluntary basis and we didn't have to make people compulsory redundant. So all of that uncertainty for the workforce is now gone, so that element of, of job security is, is there again. And also one of the important things was to try and actually reduce the number of permanent staff that we would have to lose. So to give members an idea, that million pound reduction in, in the service, after taking out all of the agency employees, we could have been seeing anything up to getting on for 30 people, and about 28 people could have, could have potentially had to be taken out of the service. Through negotiations with BIFA and the trade unions, uh, they signed up to a pay freeze for the current year, and it actually meant that with the support of BIFA and the trade unions, we've managed to keep an extra 10 men in the service. That's important because one of the things that has most definitely benefited from keeping those extra men in the service has been we have been able to set up dedicated gateway crews, gateway teams, and their job is to make sure that the output based standards in the contract are maintained and that the job of those crews is to focus on making sure that this, you know, what this indicator relates to uh, is, is essentially delivered. Um, so those are the, the main elements really. We've set up those gateway teams and certainly as a client uh, within the council we keep a very, very close eye on, uh, on, on those performance standards in these primary retail areas and the main gateways as well. Happy to take any further questions. Yeah, I don't want to ask any question. What's the right to I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I
thing was the actual strike over in Liverpool. And, uh, we, we avoided that. And I think having been in my own life and we don't see situations, there certainly is an effect on morale and, and uncertainty. And if you were, you know, we've all received the letter at the time, negotiations were going on. Uh, well, I certainly the copy of the letter from the trade unions, so, you know, sort of predicting a, a wave of filth and, uh, and all that that was coming on. So clearly, 